Hello, my name is Miranda H.P. And I'm Connor Calloway. And we are the Bountiful Bards. Please join us in our first ever recorded D&D campaign, The Fountains of Cathedra. All right, here we go again. Are you a bit of a, a bit of a jostle from what you were expecting, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. But I think Leah, in a way, is relieved, you know, almost like the waiting for something bad to happen is so much worse than it just happening. You, you know? know, I, I got to feel that on a on a on a different level. Um, <laughs> waiting I, for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Well, it was only uh, when I first wrote that scene, you know, finding the goblins. I was like, you know, there's no way you're going to move that many goblins without at least somebody noticing. People are nosy, especially in a small village. You yep. can't do nothing in a small village without somebody knowing. Yep. I lived in my little town of 30,000 people. Still, people knew about it. Or was it less? Like 15,000. That's how people are. You know, they always, they want to feel important, even if it's doing something bad. All right. Well, we're about to start chapter five. So here we go. All right. Here we go. I yelled, beating on the door harder. But the reciting did not end. The fourth spoke. And then the fifth. The Journal of Rake. Leah, you enter the way station and immediately feel a difference from the last time you had been there. The air smells fresh and clean. The lighting no longer flickers with an air of haunting, but instead it illuminates the hallways with a vibrant light. A floating sphere of energy appears down at the end of the hall and zooms up to you as it, uh, at its top speed, sending sounds of electricity as it collides with your chest and all you hear is... Didn't I name her Claire? <laughs> uh, I can't recall. Let me see. I have it written down. Yeah, go ahead. F- thumb through your notebook I will, while I read ahead. I will thumb through my notebook. Uh, Jane. Willie the Cook. Jane the Orb. There you are. Yeah. So it's Jane. She comes Jane. and collides with your chest and is, seems very happy to see you. Jane the Crackle Orb. You hear also... <laughs> As you see, the robotic individuals or the, uh, you know, the automaton individuals uh, are sticking, especially the chef, are sticking out their heads in the hallways to see who is here. And Thiel goes, oh, my goodness. I'm back. Hi, everybody. And then all you hear is a bunch of noise in the background. <laughs> uh, the automatons start coming up. And see that you've had you have several bags with you of uh, supplies and such, and they begin picking them up and just walking them back down the hallway. It's very strange, as if they just kind of like they're acting as your servants. You know, they're I guess they're excited to have people. Very much uh, Beauty and the Beast. You know, <laughs> we have is the we have whole to do something. Yeah, we, we we're, we're not doing anything. We have no work. What's going on? Yep. Um, and then you start hearing chopping noises. Ah, uh, Willie the cook. <laughs> uh, Phil goes. Well, this is. This is lovely. Uh, Leah, you want to show me around? Do I? It looks like they've really cleaned up the place since I was here last. You have spent the last day or so traveling through what once was. Just the two of you, you prayed that, to, which, to whoever may be listening, that nothing would try and attack you and you make the trip without issue. Um, you have been in to- contact with Carmine. Uh, your brother is still being hidden. He's getting a bit cooped up living inside of a mausoleum, but hey, it's a lot better than the alternative. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did come through. If you did hear, they did come through and kind of just walk through the graveyard, but there's they didn't they didn't find him thanks to Cleric Carmine. Um, and hopefully he'll be heading your way soon. Because they'd be like, why? Yeah, but it's not even a place that I think would even register on there. Like, let's look in these consecrated graves. Right, or- right, absolutely. They're- it just feels like a cursory, like some higher up was like, "Go oh, look at the graveyard," and they were like, "Yeah, okay, weirdo." Yeah, they and let's just say in a in a meta kind of way, they probably didn't want to go talk to Carmine anyways, because for some reason, because, can I interest you in my bottle cap collection? Yeah, that that kind of thing. <laughs> which we we adored those types of individuals because we are those individuals, but yeah. we know how some normal people are. It's like, yeah, no, I don't want to go down there and talk to you. The him. neurotypicals are really weird, right? Um, they don't like anything interesting. You make your way through. All the cobwebs have been cleaned away. The statues and rubbles, rubble has all been cleaned. Um, the boxes have been either tossed and moved from God knows where. Either side of the way station tunnel is still collapsed, though. They haven't. 
if anything, that's where they've put most of the junk that they have found. It's just packed it there, so that I guess that's just where they're going to put it. Um, you show Theo the uh, the wizard's bed chamber, which uh, could be used by both of you, including uh, the shower, which you still don't know how that works. You're going to have to figure that one out. And also, what she's most interested in, after looking at all the automatons, she's very interested in the the thing that's generating power, essentially. Oh, yeah, the, the thing that I cleaned the slime monster out of or whatever. The ooze? Yeah, the ooze. That was a, that was a trip. Absolutely. Um, and Theo goes, my word. Oh, a teleportation circle was amazing. And then we have more here. Oh, yeah. It's, let me see. One, two, three, four. She counts out all the little circles that are in the tunnel. She goes, that one's lit up, but the others are still dark. I, I guess that means that they, they don't have any connections or anything of that. So essentially, Theo is just absolutely fascinated. So uh, what would you like to do? Well, I mean, we're still waiting on Jimothy, if he's going to come or not. Um, so familiarize myself with area, like let happy, cheerful Jane show me around. Because there were other sparkle orbs. Um, and there was that room with all the books in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So probably want to go in there because and go through the books Ooh, give me an investigation check Whoop. that's hilarious <laughs> try again i don't know how that happened fell off the table yeah it just i mean it just kept going i was like come back oh that was terrible oh but a plus eight so ten. Ten. yeah Y'all go through the books and you see um, there are several there. They're all written in a different language. And uh, what she gets most fascinated with is you give Theo basically the handbook for the engine. And she definitely just starts thumbing through that. Um, well, and now I have the uh, Comprehend Languages as a ritual. Because mm -hmm. I think when I was in here before, I don't remember if I did or not. I think right. I did still. Well, so does she. Yeah, so we can actually like yes, split can. our you focus could. and we can go through the various books. She was going to want to go through that. Okay. I'd like to go through some of the other ones. Okay. Um, the chef comes up, hands you both a bowl of magnificent stew. Uh, I don't know how he made what he made out of the rations that you were given, but he seems very excited to hand it to you as you two settle. Basically, I would assume settle yourselves in to the, uh, to the old wizard's uh, bedroom, a living area there. Oh yeah, definitely. Like we each have our own individual little rat's nests. Yeah. Of, like <laughs> uh, Theo goes books and stew. You know, we could do worse than this. This is very nice. It is nice. Oh, check this out. She pushes like a little stone over by the fireplace, and a magical fire appears and begins warming up the room. Figured out the shower yet? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, roll me an investigation check with advantage to see if you two can figure out the shower. Indoor plumbing. 21. It's going to be big. <laughs> 21. 21. Oh, after a while, you're, you figure it out. It's like, oh my goodness, you press, you turn this knob and then water falls on you and it's warm. What? Um, you two are, de you and do, it's clean. You two both definitely take a well-deserved shower on your own time, you know, probably spend even for you leah spend like an hour in there each um oh for sure and this one is some strange nice smelling liquid that bubbles <laughs> um i would say after a good Soap night's dispenser. rest uh, and getting unpacked and everything um there is a noise that you hear it goes <laughs> and you hear what the hell angry crackling increases <laughs> Leah, where are you? Jane, tell my darling idiot brother to come this way, please. Beetle boop beep. Uh, there is a... Well, Jane's the crackle orb. I know. There's a few minutes as Jane goes flying off. You hear sparking, you hear talking, and then you hear, hey, wait a minute, put me down. Uh, and then a few moments later, uh, one of the automatons comes walking in, and they're about seven feet tall, holding <laughs> Various your... Various swear holding words your, down the hallway. Yes, <laughs> holding your brother in front of you. You're like, beetle boop beep. They take directions literally. Hi, Jimothy. Tell it to put me down. You may put him down now. Beep Thank bop. you. Beep, bop, beep, boom, just drops him <laughs> and then walks off. Oh my God. I told you I found something cool. 
I wasn't exaggerating. <sighs> okay. I feel that. What happened? How did we get found out? Um, what was that instructor's name that I didn't like? Oh, no, that's not what happened. Thiel told you what happened. Well, right, but she still doesn't know who sold them out. No, Thiel told you. I, I guess I didn't, I didn't communicate no, that didn't. well. Thiel says that the cleric from your hometown was captured. Well, but how would cleric Cassadern know anything about... They connect, they're basically just looking for you because oh. they're looking for your parents. What's oh, a good okay. way to find someone you're looking for? Yeah. When you have full, full authority. That's true. Okay, that's right. I'm sorry. I, I must have misunderstood. Yeah, but... Um, just to be fair, he was... Now, I know what you're talking about. I will do a little metagame here. Of course, he was definitely suspicious of you, but he had no proof because you played so well against that. Now, that could have been another path this would have happened too, just to give you a uh, so little validation to your feelings there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, and the poor dad who's like genuinely had no idea what was going on. Oh, yeah, right. I bet you're going to think differently about your church now, Dad. Theo explains. And... Jimothy, just after a while, he goes, he, he asks the questions that you did and want to make sure that, yes, your parents are both still safe. And Theo, of course, tells him, you know, everything that he, she told you. I would have used, for sure, um, was it Sending? Yeah. Talk to your mother? Oh, yeah. Just be like, y'all alive? Oh, yeah, we're fine. How are you? How's school? I'm in hiding from school oh, because dear. they came to get me. I will definitely say you've probably... Did you want to role play that out? Were you talking to your mother or just you just talking or catching in with her? Well, I mean, I, it's not like I would have had that much opportunity to. I would only been able to talk to her twice. Right. And we can also, I think it would also be fair to say that once you were able to cast sending during the times before you left etchings, you probably reached out to your mother and had a little, you know, why didn't you ever tell me you were a witch? Blah, 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 blah. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Is dad really clueless or was it a very convincing act? <laughs> your father's not clueless. He knows who his, he knows who his wife is and who his children are. It was just one of those, like, if I don't talk about it, it's not happening. Types. No, it was one of those, I keep my mouth shut so the church gotcha. doesn't drag my family away. And then it happened anyway. Yeah, despite his efforts and your mom's efforts. Funny how that works. I feel like you have some animosity. To Leah has some animosity towards her, par her parents. Not really, just, I wouldn't say it's towards her parents. It's just, you know, when 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 you're young and you don't quite understand, like, how... Sometimes you have to, to play within the confines of the, the shitty world that is that you're just like, well, you should have just done something, even though, you know, as you get older, that sometimes you can't just do things because sometimes that makes things worse. Yeah. So it's very much that sort of like indignant, like you should have just done something. You know, she doesn't know better yet to learn. So after everything is said and done and Jimothy gets a bite to eat and he's feeling better, he goes. Willie the cook. MVP. So what do we do now? Are we just going to... I don't know. That's a good question. We've been going through these books here trying to find out, because I think that from what we could tell, this is a way station, so it's connected to other places. So I guess it's a way to find out, one, where those other places are, and two, how to get there. Because when I first came in here, the circles weren't working, and I had to make them work. Right. So... I don't think we can like zap ourselves anywhere because the corresponding circle is not working. Theo goes, well, one of those circles out there is currently lit. However, I have been doing some reading here and I've come to the conclusion that it can only send one at a time. <laughs> so because I am very much interested in the ruins of Radian, as you two are, I think it would be in our best interest, you know, because we're stuck here, to see where it goes. I agree. I think it could be fun. Jimmy think goes, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't know where that can go. It, it could drop her off in a lava pit for all we know. The runes are all over the place, right? Theo goes, I don't know if they're all over the place. I think some of it is, but what if the majority of the, the city that once was is 
just buried. Still somewhat intact. Wouldn't that be fascinating? That would no, be. that wouldn't be fascinating. Why wouldn't it be fascinating, Jimothy? It's dangerous. Why are we always wanting to do dangerous stuff? Well, what else did you want to do? I don't know. I was enjoying studying. And then they came hunting for us to hunt us down and probably murder us. So, you know, that life is kind of over now, Jimothy. We got to do something. Maybe we can find something out. I feel like the church has been lying to us. I feel like we've been lied to. I think there is something for us to find out here. Don't you want to find it out? Not as strongly as you. Well, too bad. I'm doing it anyway. You can come with me or you can stay here and be bored. What? Technically, says Thale, we could all go. Just one at a time. That's what I assumed we were doing. And uh, Jimothy can sit in the corner and twiddle his thumbs or he can come with. Well, of course I'm going to come with. Fine, Thale says, shutting a book. Starting tomorrow morning, we will head out to see what else we can find through the rest of these way stations. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep my spirits up now that my entire career is destroyed. Yeah, sorry about that. That's not a problem. I think I've gained more here. So, Leah. Yes. Is there anything you would like to do before you head out on your next jaunt? I think we. I want to, like, our, so the books that we've discovered that we've gone through, are there any that could be potentially useful to us to, for our exploring? Is there, like, a, what was this place called? I would say that most of the books that have lasted are maintenance books for the way station. There isn't any, like, welcome to blah, blah, blah. No. The tourist guide of... <laughs> possibly everybody who's anybody was from Radian anyways, so... The tourist guide to Radian. 101 stops you don't want to miss. That, that would be fun, but no, there's nothing like <laughs> Dang that. Dang it. No, like, uh, travel trip advisor, like... <laughs> Unfortunately, no, you just have to, it's one of those find out for yourself kind of things. Oh, well, okay. Um, just, I guess, is there like anything I gleaned from it? Like, um, maybe see if, well, only one of us can go at a time. Um, I guess just like make sure that we're prepared, that we've got rations. We've got the thing of endless water, so that's helpful. So we don't have to worry about water. Flask of endless water. Mm -hmm. Um. So you get you some rations, yeah. uh, about 10 days worth. Yeah, something like that, like split between us so that we've each got some. Okay. And then just basically gird our loins and prepare for the journey. And take the leap of faith? Not much else you can do at this point besides step on circle and hope you don't die. All right. Well then. Well, that being said, we'll continue on to the next day. do 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 the next day, the three of you wake up and are standing before the way station platform that you have yet to use. Oh boy. Everybody's packed and ready. Jimothy has his sword sharpened. Theo uh, has her travel gear out, her book ready. She actually has her wand stationed uh, tightly in her pocket. And naturally, you have all your instruments and everything prepared for what comes next. Oh, yeah. Theo goes, all right, Leah, you go first. It's only right since you found the place. I will come shortly after, followed by you, Jimothy, okay? Jimothy goes, uh, so I just teleported, and yesterday, um, it's not the funnest thing to do. I'm going to be honest with you. And she goes, oh, well, it'll be all right. It'll be over in an instant. And he goes, how do you know it's over in an instant? We literally stop existing. Like I had no understanding of what was going on. It could take, we could, a hundred years could have passed if there's a mess up. You don't know. She goes, noted. You could argue the same for when you're sleeping, Jimothy. No, I'm not, I, I, <laughs> I'm not getting into that. Just, just going to put that out there. If you're going to have an existential crisis, you might as well have it about everything. All right. And with that, step on the teleport. And you step, the first step, the very faint bluish glow of the magic circle brightens as if excited to finally have somebody use its magic um you look down and see that your boots are highlighted by this magic uh, as you step out um there's even it feels like an like an energetic uh, uh or an electric breeze you feel your hair kind of 
Uh, I'm sure Leah has it in a braid or up tight or something like that at this moment, but you still kind of feel the hair on your arms and stuff start to raise a little bit as your, your entire body just tingles with the idea of it. Thiel goes, are you ready? I am. All right. Um, she being the wizard she is and starting to really get an understanding of how the arcane works and uh, you just have to imagine this is somebody who's probably used a Macintosh their entire life and is given an iPhone. You know, it's just the level of excitement for her to use new technology. Absolutely. Uh, she walks over to the wall. Apparently there's a panel there that controls the circles and she presses a button and you're gone. Your world goes black. There's a flash of light and you find yourself standing in a similar, a similar circle in a large darkened room. The only light source coming from the giant archway before you. To the left and right, you see other platforms like your own, but none of the sigils are illuminated with power like yours. Wait. In fact, you look down and you see that yours is slowly becoming dull. The magic goes out. There may not be a way back. Leah, what happened? Are you okay? The magic circle went dull here. We don't know what happened. I'm going to say very quietly. Do I have to say it out loud or can it be in my head? It is out loud, but you can whisper it back if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah but you can talk normal for Yeah, you. I know. Um, basically, I'll just try to relay as quickly as possible that maybe it's similar to when I first found the way station and I have to get the magic started again so i will go find out am fine we'll let you know if i die <laughs> uh, another message comes this is the last one i can send it wouldn't make sense to be able to power the circle on that end i would say i have to see what happened here some of the lights did dim i'll work on this you see what you find but be careful roger that over and out <laughs> <laughs> so you're standing in a dark room yep. there is light before you as if at the end of a tunnel, you would have to step closer for your eyes to adjust and see what's out there. So you said I'm in a circle. circle little, little it looks room. just like the way station you left. There's four sigils here. Okay. You're standing on probably like the second one to the left. It doesn't matter which one. Are they are they in a row? Or are they They're in, like in, a in a row. And you are okay. facing an archway of light. You know, there's nothing you know, behind you, me? Like when you're in a tunnel coming out, you just see nothing but whiteness, but you know as you step closer, it clears up, just like going through the tunnel at uh, Yosemite, that kind of thing. Is there anything behind me? You look behind you, and there's nothing but shadow, and if you squint hard enough, you see it's just solid wall. Okay, cool. So is is it like raised, or is it all one level? I mean, it's slight, you know, slightly raised, but you can okay. step down and step straight. It's all leveled. I'm going to step down very carefully. Okay. And just sort of... Um, have my cloak be kind of that mottled shadow kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then just like skirt my way to the, like I'm going to try to go to the wall essentially and walk along the wall. So when I like peek out, it's not like silhouetted. Okay. You very carefully make your way around to peek out the archway into what comes in the next area and your jaw drops and you almost lose your um, breath. Bathed in rich sunlight is a magnificent city. Wait, sunlight? Yes, sunlight. You look up and see an immense octagonal slate of stone supported by eight pillars, four to either side, which beyond those pillars is just cave wall. You are beneath the ground, yet you feel the warmth of the sun. It's as if when the city fell, it not only took the foundations and buildings, but it took the light too. Frozen in time, illuminating all you see before you. And what do you see? Before you is a city district far grander than Miro or etchings combined. They are hovels compared to this site. The avenues before you the avenue before you is adored with two fountains to either end and buildings to either side. Structures of white stone capped with turquoise tiled roofs. The windows are laced with both transparent and colored glass depicting graceful patterns comforting to the eye. 
Rows upon rows of stone troughs are used as flower beds besides each door and planters sit beneath each window too. Is f the color exploding from these holders is filling your heart. Yet even, not even these can hold your gaze for long from what lies in the direct center of this district. A pillar, the largest of the set, sits center of this district. For something so large, it must have a purpose past holding up the next platform. The sides are etched with a beautiful pattern that twists every which way in a relaxing grace. You would, not, you would need to move closer in order to determine why it is here. Thank you for listening. Please leave a review anywhere you found us. You can reach out to us on Twitter at Bountiful Bards. We hope to see you again on the civilized road. And bring bread and cheese. <laughs> As the story goes, until then. <laughs>